we were like 67, 70 for the first two laps, and I kind of just found myself taking the lead over the bear, over the water jump. Um, and I wasn't trying to push or anything, and I wasn't trying to like take it super easy. I just found myself running a comfortable pace, and um, no one went with me, so I just continue that pace and just try to stay as comfortable as possible. And, yeah. what, are, what are your thoughts after running that 332, that speed, so that when you do make that, that World Championship final, how your, your speed will help you? I know it's thinking ahead, but... Um, yeah, I think it's a little deceiving for everyone outside of the group. Like, I don't really think it's speed, per se, as much as it is strength and just touching on a little bit of speed. So, um, I'm not letting myself be fooled into thinking that I, I can be a 1500 guy on a world stage and run 144 for the 800. Uh, I just don't think I'm that type of runner. Um, I definitely think I can run a super fast 15 off of strength and a decent amount of speed. Um, so, going into USA's and um, hopefully Worlds, uh, I just kind of look at it as um, being able to run a faster pace for a long period of time and uh, not being afraid to, to go with a fast pace right from the gun, um, knowing that I, I can run uh, like a fast 1500 and just hold that 57, 56 cadence for a long period of time. You have about like a 10 to 15 seconds on even like the second place guys here. How do you prepare for a final USA's knowing that there's really not anyone who's really at your level right now? Uh, I mean, I, I know like my, my teammates, like they've come a long way. Um, Dan's always going to be a strong competitor. Don made the Olympic final with me and it was eighth place. He's only two spots behind me. And if it's like a 819, 820 race, like he's going to be there because he like is the king of running 819. I think he's done it like five times. Um, and he always looks good doing it too. So you can't count a guy like, like Don out. Corey Leslie's got probably more leg speed than I do. Um, so it's not like, I don't, I don't think it's a lock uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, hopefully, if everything goes well for myself, like I should, I, I feel like I should win. But um, you never know what's going to happen, so you got to show up on the day, and you always have, you have to have, have your game face on and uh, be prepared to hurt it, especially with the conditions that we're running in. Um, like the last three years, it's been really hot, and just can't let it get to you. Can we find with the heat today? I, it was a little uncomfortable for sure, but um, it wasn't. Uh, I don't know if it really affected me other than making me feel a little bit tired towards the end of the race. Um, more tired than I would hope to be. Um, but, I mean, everyone's got to deal with it, obviously. Uh, just do your best to prepare for it and uh, try to get it out of your mind. I don't think I asked you this at Portland, but would, would you feel comfortable talking about any supplements or prescription drugs you take? Yeah, sure. Um, like, uh, I think I watched CD's interview yesterday, and CD uh, pretty much said exactly um, what I feel like most of the team does. We do iron and vitamin C, especially at altitude, because just don't want to get anemic. Um, I've pretty much been off iron since getting down from Salt Lake City, and I, I don't take anything else outside of that. Um, usually it's nothing. Uh, if I happen to have allergies, I'll take Claritin. Um, if I've taken like a, like a Mucinex type thing, if I ever have a little chest cold. Um, but other than that, I don't take ibuprofen, I don't take a leave unless like something's you know, like terribly wrong. Really specifics like Testo Boost or supplements or no anything? No Testo like that? Boost, uh, no inhalers, no glucocorticosteroids. Um, no, yeah, no prescription, anything. Uh, just iron and vitamin C. What do you? Th I mean, just drugs is such a part of the sport, right? So you drop your fifteen hundred time. Yeah. And you see this like, oh, what's Jaeger on these days? Yeah. And is it Jaeger or Jaeger? It's Jaeger. Okay, yeah. Thank you. And I, I think I would know that by now, right? I like half <laughs> expected that to be kind of the buzz, um, just because, like, I did surprise myself with it being at Portland Track Festival. Um, I've thought of 
like had the potential to run that fast, but um, yeah, definitely, I could see how it seems a little suspect. But like, it sucks that that has to be like the commentary around like really good events or really good um, races. Um, I mean, sometimes people just just have a day, have a good day, and pop off a big time. Like um, Kyle Merber ran 335 at Swath Swathmore when he was in college, and that was like unbelievable. I didn't for a second think that he was on drugs. Um, it sucks that that does have to be part of uh, commentary, but um, with how prevalent or like how big the stories are when they do come out, um, it's understandable. Good luck in the final. Thanks. Yeah, thanks.